Okay, so I have my NES going. I want to play it on my Sony Watchman here. But the problem is, the composite in right here, the video in, that's only video, there's no audio. That's a headphone jack, um, that's only audio out. So, if I want to play it with audio, I have to use the RF, but there's no RF in. There's only an antenna input, or an, an antenna built in right here. So, what you have to do is build a small cable like this that goes from your RCA cable to a clip lead so you can hook onto the antenna. Let me plug it in here. You just plug it into the RF switch output on there, and then you go and clip it on to the antenna. But you're not fully done yet because it's already dialed into the right channel. I did that earlier. As you can see, the image is all messed up. So how do you fix that? Like, the audio is coming in fine. I never said the built-in speaker was any good, but... Here, it's good at low volumes. Looks like we'll demonstrate here. It's okay at low volumes. But yeah. So, what's the problem here? Well... It's a lot of interference from the big TV next to it. See, I turn it on, and bam, there's the interference back. <laughs> there's it off, and there's it on. So, you just turn that off, and yeah. But, let me demonstrate something here. If I go and reset the NES, and have this TV on, I go on say Woodman stage. I don't know why, but this one, whenever I switch the TV off, it sinks at the wrong spot. So you have to go switch it to UHF and then back to VHF and then it's fine. That may apply to other stages, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. If you ever want to have a uh, RF in on your Sony Watchman. Um, what's this model? Sony Watchman FD30A. Then you can. Oh, and it's back to uh, that. And it may take a couple tries to. Oh, I just turned it off. It may take a couple tries to. Get it back to normal. And sometimes I guess it just won't. Oh, there we go. But yeah, so there's your video. If you want to RF input on this watchman, there you go. <laughs>